is fear fear is either a feeling or an emotion but in reality it is what meaning we give to that it can be either forget everything and run or it can be either face everything and rise hello friends my name is nitesh garodia and if you are watching this right now in april 2020 you must know that we are living in a great time of this world history nobody alive has ever seen something like this happening on the face of the earth and hence it's a crucial time for us for the humanity in this video i'll share some practical and easy to apply techniques to overcome fear in times of crisis like this so i would request you to keep an open mind and watch it till the end let us also see in a short clip what sadguru has to say about what is fear fear is simply because you are not living with life you are living in your mind your fear is always about what's going to happen next that means your fear is always about that which does not exist if your fear is about the non existent your fear is 100% imaginary now fear is quite natural in times like these when nobody is certain about anything but if you are watching it right now you can be grateful about the fact that you are alive and there are high chances that you will be unless you do something which is uncalled for so i want you to know that just like corona virus your emotions are also infectious and contagious which means that if you're feeling sad angry depressed or fearful you will contaminate those around you with the same energies now this also means that if you're feeling positive happy joyful loved and fearless you will uplift the people around you now i am not saying this only from the spiritual perspective because this has been written throughout the centuries and ages in all the textbooks ancient textbooks and said by the spiritual sages i am also taking the help of science here now the university of heart and math in california have done pioneering research and study on the same phenomenon now watch this video which i am going to show you so that you can better understand what i am talking about. What are you feeding the field environment? Negative energy or uplifting energy? Our scientists are exploring how we're all interconnected in the energetic field environment. In one independent study, four people sat around a card table. Three of them were trained in a heart math coherence technique. Their heart coherence was measured before and during the experiments. What's coherence, you ask? Personal coherence is when your heart Mind, emotions and physical systems are operating in sync and resonating in cooperative alignment. So 3 of the 4 people at the table shifted into coherence using our heart lock-in technique while the 4th person sat quietly. What do you think happened? You guessed right. The 4th person's heart coherence level went up too, just from being in that uplifting energetic field. That's the power of interconnection. This experiment was actually done 10 times involving 40 people. They got the same results and the uplifting effects were confirmed. Social coherence is a stable, harmonious alignment of relationships that enables an efficient flow of energy and communication. Researchers say that the most successful groups and organizations operate more coherently in that positive energetic state. As more of us practice coherence, we can create the kind of world in which we all want to live, one of deeper caring, kindness, connection, and cooperation. Know that when we are loving or filled with gratitude, our hearts radiate a more coherent signal into the environment. So, what are you feeding the field today? Now, this study clearly shows that we are responsible for our emotions and the field around us. So one question to ask yourself is what am i feeding to the field main apne aas paas ke field mein kya feed kar raha hu not only from this video but hum apne life ke experience se bhi ye bata sakte hain ki kai baar hame acche logon ki company mein acha lagta hai and sometimes we we don't feel very good in uh, the company of some people whom we have never even met now let's go to the technique that i'm going to teach you so that it's handy and very easy for us to take care 
of our emotions anytime and anywhere. Now the first technique is called heart focused breathing. It's a very easy technique which can be done anywhere and taught to anyone. So I urge you that first you learn this technique, then you apply it and you teach it to your friends, especially the young ones in your house. So the first part in this technique is to sit down in a comfortable position. It's better if you close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Now gently tap on the center of your chest or your heart with your hand. And now while you're breathing, just imagine or visualize that the breath is coming in and out of your heart. आपको सिर्फ ये इमेजिन करना है कि जब आप सांस ले रहे हैं तो आप अपने हृदय से अपने दिल से सांस ले रहे हैं और जब आप सांस को छोड़ रहे हैं एक्सेल कर रहे हैं तो आप अपने दिल से सांसों को एक्सेल कर रहे हैं एंड वाइल यू डू दिस जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर इनहेलिंग एंड एक्सेलिंग अ लिटल बिट लॉन्गर दैन यू नॉर्मली डू This simple practice is called heart focused breathing and you can do it anywhere anytime. I recommend you to practice it every day once in the morning for 5 minutes and right before you sleep. You can also practice it at the time of crisis or distress whenever you're feeling angry, depressed, sad or fearful. Now before I share about the technique too, I would like to share a short story of how it helped me 8 years back i was on a road trip to ladakh with four of my friends and we wanted to go to a place called nobra valley somewhere nearby there was a centuries old monastery and we planned to visit there that monastery was so remote that there was no shops nearby and i found one store at the foot of that monastery which had an old and tattered book kept on the top of its table just out of curiosity i went there and opened that book which was to be used and opened by any tourist the title of that book was a mantra which is om mani padme hum i repeat us book ka title tha om mani padme hum jab maine us book ko khola तो मैंने उस बुक में देखा उसके टॉप पे लिखा हुआ था कि इस मंत्रा को चैंट करने से या इस साउंड के वाइब्रेशन से क्या क्या चीज़ें आपके लाइफ में ठीक हो सकती हैं क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स सॉल्व हो सकते हैं एंड व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड रीडिंग द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वर मेंशन इन दैट बुक व्हिच वुड बी सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग दिस मंत्रा वर एंगर एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन सैडनेस एम्टीनेस लोनलीनेस स्टमक एक हेड एक बॉडी एक लिम्पिंग एंड एज आई कंटिन्यू टू रीड आई थॉट कि इट्स फ्यूटाइल टू रीड द एंटायर थिंग बिकॉज ऑल इट वॉज ट्राइंग टू टेल अ रीडर इज दैट दर इज नथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड दैट के नॉट बी सॉल्व यूजिंग दिस मंत्रा मैंने उस बुक को पढ़ना वहीं पर बंद कर दिया क्योंकि मुझे ये समझ में आया कि uh, जो ऑथर हैं वो ये बताना चाह रहे हैं कि ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है इस दुनिया में जो इस मंत्रा से या इस साउंड से सॉल्व नहीं हो सकता है सो आफ्टर वी विजिटेड द मोनेस्ट्री जब हम लोग वापस आ रहे थे तो हमने हैवी स्नोफॉल एक्सपीरियंस किया एंड विच रिजल्टेड इन अ बिग ट्रैफिक जैम दस अराउंड मोर देन हंड्रेड कार्स विच वॉज टक और धीरे 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 टाइम पार होते होते तीन चार घंटे हो गए एंड नथिंग वॉज मूविंग सो धीरे धीरे हम सबको डर लगने लगा इतनी ठंड हो गई थी हम लोगों को इतना ठंड लग रहा था कि इतनी भी हिम्मत नहीं थी हम लोगों में कि हम गाड़ी से बाहर निकल के सामान से एक्स्ट्रा जैकेट्स निकालें बिकॉज ठंड भी लग रही थी डर भी लग रहा था वी आर सींग दैट ओल्ड पीपल हु आर नियर बाय इन अदर कार्स दे दे नीडेड ऑक्सीजन सो मिलिट्री फोर्सेज आ रहे थे लोगों को हेल्प करने ऑक्सीजन देने सो so, ये सब देख करके लोगों को काफ़ी डर लग रहा था 
and we could see fear in the eyes of everyone including the local driver i was scared to death too and at that time i really wanted to speak to my family and my girlfriend but our phones were discharged and hopelessness and fear had gripped us all suddenly when i was thinking ki main yahan tak kaise pahuncha mujhe yaad aaya ki hum log subah hi monastery gaye the and uh, eventually i realized uh, uh, eventually i recalled about the mantra that i read about immediately i started chanting the mantra om mani padme hum in my mind and before i could realize the fear started to fade away and i saw the traffic started moving i couldn't believe myself and what i saw happening in front of my eyes and since then i have always used this mantra or sound or whatever you may call it to control my emotions especially fear so with this i will explain you how to do this properly first is sit in a comfortable posture and relax yourself preferably close your eyes start chanting the mantra om mani padme hum in unison aapko ye mantra om mani padme hum ek ke baad ek ek ke baad ek repeat karte hue 10 se 15 minute tak bol sakte hain once you are done you will immediately you will experience the positive change in yourself one bonus tip that i would like to give is if you can chant this mantra with love it's much more powerful lastly a simple practice of gratitude when you wake up can create wonders in your life so right after you wake up think of three good things that is already happening in your life it can be very simple and small things like you have a bottle of water near you you are sleeping on a nice bed you have a fan in your room you have food to eat in this time of crisis you have enough resources to share with others there can be more than 100 good things that you can think about in a day so i want you to try this during this time so that you see for yourself what lies within the purpose of my video was to contribute my time and energy to help you in overcoming fear so that you can uplift yourself and the people around you i want to thank all the people who are selflessly and tirelessly working day and night in keeping things under control and not letting this pandemic take over lives now before i end this video i would like to extend my thanks and my gratitude to all the people who are working tirelessly in keeping things under control so that we can live peacefully in our homes for this video i was inspired by nipun jain and his team who came up with this creative idea of 21 days 21 perspectives which in my thinking will give people a new perspective to live their lives i hope i was able to help you with my time and energy and if you have any questions feel free to comment here if you like this video and like this kind of a content you can follow me on instagram or my youtube channel for which i'll share the link somewhere here down below thank you so much i love you all and do take care of yourself and your family bye bye as a bonus tip just before i end this video i would like to share this book which is based on the exact same thing that we talked about written by thich nath han I learned a great deal from this book. While the techniques that I shared is not from this book, but I would like to read a message which I thought was for me when I was reading this book. Modeling calm in the face of fear and teaching young people how to weather its own storms. You are teaching a very valuable skill that might even save their lives in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day with your family. staying at home stay safe and i love you all